Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a topic of time management because I really see in some of my coaching clients and colleagues that they're having trouble getting everything done. And I think I've figured out, in a sense, because I've seen this for so long, why this actually happens. And I wanted to, to explain it to you. I've just written a blog post about it. I'll put the link to that in the comments also. So I have, I've developed this concept called the business triad. And the business triad is three things, obviously. It's a triad. And these are the three things that you need in your business to succeed. And when you hear them, they'll be like, obvious, like, duh. But I think by following, if you follow me, <laughs> you'll see that uh, that understanding this need will lead to you understanding why your business isn't succeeding and you're not getting everything done. And some people aren't even at the point of understanding what needs to be done, but most people are. So the business triad goes like this. You need an audience because if you don't have an audience, nobody will buy from you. So that is usually an email list, but it could also be social media followers. And it can also be people who are sent to your offers by partners. So those also become your audience because your partners send them to you. So that's the audience. But the second thing is that you need a relationship with that audience. So people aren't going to just buy from you if they don't know who you are. You've heard this concept of no like, and trust. And it's a little bit more than that. They need to respect your authority, your expertise. They need to realize that you have knowledge that they need and want. And so that relationship is really, really important. Now, when you have partners who send people to you, it's the relationship of those people to the partner. They trust the partner. So that partner transfers that trust over to you, at least to give those people enough uh, feeling of trust that they uh, m might consider what you have to say. It's a little bit less than people knowing you over a long period of time on your own list, but that is one way of quickly getting that no like and trust factors with partners. So the second thing then from the business triad is that relationship with the audience. And the third thing, of course, is your offers. You need offers that are relevant to your audience. Now, you have to know who your audience is. You have to know who you help and what their problems are. And you need those offers need to be relevant to those specific people. So we have three things now in the business triad. We have your audience, a relationship with the audience and offers that are relevant to your audience. So this is how most people start. They have, an, they have some expertise and they decide they want to get it out to the world. They want to create some product or some course. And, and well, it, it depends how they, how they do it, I suppose. But if they start, have this idea that they need an online business, then they might start by creating a website and social media accounts and, and so on like that. But at some point pretty early, in that process, they will create some kind of marketing message based on who they help, and then they'll create a free offer that solves a problem for that target market. And the purpose of that free offer is to grow your list. It's to, it, it's to attract people who need and want what you have. You offer it out to people and they go, yeah, I'm willing to give you my name and email address for that. And so you grow your email list. And so people often start by doing that uh, they create the, e the the free offer. There's some technology involved in make getting it out to people on the webs on your website, whatever. But and then they they start promoting that. So they might get some people on their list by promoting that free offer. And up to now, here's the key. Up to now, if, if this is you, you've been doing one thing at a time. So maybe you started with your website or you started with your marketing message and you put that on your website. And then maybe you created your, your email, your free offer, and then maybe you promoted your free offer. So it was like four things you did in a row. Now you have to start doing more than one thing at a time. And I think this is where people don't realize that they have to keep, they have to do, be doing multiple things all the time, or else the business falls flat. So what does that mean? So once you have the people on your list, you have to maintain and develop and nourish 
uh, nurtures the word sometimes used those people that relationship with those people and so that means you have to keep on emailing them you have to keep on providing them with some type of content it doesn't have to be your content i love sending people blog posts that i've written but you could send people to a link of some, that somebody else some other expert um wrote about wrote uh or you could use plr private label rights content Whatever it is you need to, you could just kind of tell them a story or give them some kind of message. But the idea is that you need to continue. And I just know so many people who haven't emailed their subscribers in months, a year, that kind of thing. And so the audience is of no use to you if you don't have the relationship. And that's why it's part, the relationship is part of the business triad. And so all of a sudden you have to be emailing the, that list, but you still have to be growing your list. So you're doing two things. You're promoting your free offer and you're emailing your current list. That's two things. And as I said, I see people who can't manage even that. So then the third thing is your offer. And especially people who come to me they're, because they're experts in something, they really want to get their knowledge out to the world. And so they get really focused on 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 the product or the, what it, whether it's a, a a product or a course or whatever kind of pro program they have, they get really involved in creating that because that's what they love, that's what they know, that's what they want to get out to the world. And then that's the third thing you have to do is you know create and, and promote your offer. And then they forget about building their list and maintaining their relationship with their list. So they go on to the third thing and they forget the first two things. But actually, when you have a business, you need to be doing that business triad, all those three things at once. You need to always be building your list, always maintaining your relationship with your list, and then always working on, you know, maybe you're going to make one big product and that's going to be it. So maybe you only have to do that one time. But while you're doing that, you have to maintain the other two things. And if you finish that and you're not going to do anything else, most people do create more than one product. But, you know, then you could just go back to the, uh, audience, building your audience, maintaining a relationship with your audience, but then you still need to promote your, your product uh, and that you would do to your audience. It might involve creating relationships with partners so they can bring you people because you can't promote the same thing to the same people over and over again. After a while, they either want it or they don't. So that whole thing of, of building the whole aspect of your business all at once, people have a hard time with it. And so you need to manage your time properly and you need to realize that you need to be doing all these things at once. So once you start working on your product, for example, you need to say, okay, you know, nine to 10 in the morning, I'm going to write emails or I'm going to write blog posts or something like that. And then maybe 10 to 11, I'm going to try to create relationships with partners so they can send me, they can grow my audience for me and create that relationship for me. And then you can say, okay, 11 o'clock, uh, it's about time. I better check my email and my social media. So, you know, you might do that at 11 o'clock. And then 12 o'clock, let's say you have lunch. So then the afternoon is really interesting because then you have basically from one to five to, uh, to work on your program, your product, or your course. You can um, work on launching it. So you could work on sales pages or opt-in pages or you know, things like that. And, and so then you, you can work on that whole aspect of creating and promoting your offer. So that's a lot of time. That's, you know, from one to five every day, four hours a day. I mean, that would be really cool if you could do that as long as you don't give up on the other pieces. And so what I see is people just doing a project, what they have to do now, and they just can't maintain the other things at all. And so by scheduling your time in blocks that way, you can maintain all aspects of that business triad. You can be building your list all the time, maintaining your relationship and nurturing it with your audience and then creating and uh, promoting your offer to, to your audience. So do you see how you really need to have all of those things at once? And you have to schedule your day that way. Now, I, I don't mean to say that you have to be building partnerships every single day or writing blog posts every single day so what when I, I conceive of it as a as a daily schedule from you know nine to five and doing all those three things in one day it doesn't have to be that way so you could have friday as your 
connect with Partners Day, and you could have Monday as your as your um, write a blog post and email day. Maybe you email people once a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for um, for the other for the other things. So for writing your content and promoting your content, and so on like that. So uh, anyway, one way or another, you need to schedule it, and so. The thing that I want you to understand is that you need to put this in your calendar. You can't just think of it that way and you have to live by your calendar, okay? Run your business by your calendar. So whatever you decide, schedule it. So one of the things, I, I read a, a quote not too long ago that I thought was brilliant and it was, the idea behind it was that when we schedule our calendar, mostly what we do is we schedule interruptions. It's like meetings <laughs> and things like that that we have to get done in a certain time. And, and so it, we were actually kind of, scheduling interruptions to our work rather than our work. So what I want you to do is I want you to schedule your work, the things that you need to do. You First of all, you have to figure out what you need to do, but if you break it up into those pieces, you know, building your audience, maintaining and building a relationship with your audience, which includes partnerships, and then your product, so product or a course, whatever it is, you know, writing it, promoting it, and so on like that. And if you see that at least in a week you're doing all three activities, then you'll be successful with your business. That's that's what you need to be doing. So let me know if you have any comments about this or questions about this. I will put the link to the blog post that I wrote with these with these ideas uh, because I really want you to manage this really really well. Okay, thank you everybody. Bye bye.